Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my beauty con. I think it's BFF. I'm not sure if they've like changed that, but it's the beauty con review video today. So let's just jump into it. So when you open it up, it says, oh, hey, beauty. And while you're reading this, unbox me already. So I have unboxed this. So this is a review. It's actually summer already. So I've had this box for a while, but I just wanted to get a good feel for the products. And so I think that I have that now. So I'm going to review that. So the box comes with a card and every month, it, er, I'm sorry, it comes seasonally. So every season you get a different card. So this is what it looks like for this month it has nice roses. It also came with a sticker that I don't have with me. So, but it looks just like this, like the roses on here. So yeah. And then on the back, it says spring essentials again with the rose theme. And then it tells you all of the products that you have in the box. So that's pretty cool. So the first product is the Around the World Cargo Cosmetics palette. Looks like this just has a few different destinations, like it has big Ben, uh, the Parthenon, Taj Mahal, Statue of Liberty. Yeah, pretty cool. And then some airplanes on the back. It's nice. So yeah, so you open it up. Here are the shades. So yeah, they're not really that exciting. They're really neutral. The way that this palette works is you're supposed to be able to work um, vertically, like you're supposed to be able to use like this shade with this shade and so on. <clears throat> and then also it, you can use the quads. So it's arranged in three um, orders of four and so you can use like these four together and then uh, these four and then these four together. So I've tried that and <clears throat> honestly these shadows don't really have a lot of pigmentation and so I'm a little bit disappointed with that. So I wouldn't really recommend going out and just purchasing this palette because there are plenty of better palettes for just a nice neutral look. But I mean, if you want to get this to somebody, I think that would be nice for somebody who just likes the bare minimum amount of pigment. And honestly, it's not for me because I had to put in a lot of work for just a very minimal look. So I'm wearing really the darkest combination today. And I mean, it's not bad, but it's not worth a high-end price tag. The next thing, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. So I did love the micellar cleansing water. I still use that and I've repurchased it. However, I don't think that these are quite as good. The towelettes are a bit rough, which, which may be good for exfoliation, but it takes a while to remove the makeup and it's they these seemed a little bit dry to me maybe I just got a bad pack but these aren't really my favorite I'd probably keep using Neutrogena or just the micellar water on a cotton pad they're not bad I don't think they burnt me out or anything so that's good the next thing I have not used this yet is the fade defying orchid oil color protectant oil with UVA UVB sun filters so I do not color treat my hair, and so I haven't used this yet, so I'm saving it in case I do, or I might just pass it on and swap it. So, yeah, I haven't tried this out yet. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of it if you have. The next thing is something that pops up in lots of sub subscription boxes is Luxie. So we got another Luxie brush. It looks like this. It's like a little stipple powder brush. So... I tried to use this, it says it's for blending out powders, however, I couldn't find a use for it. So I tried to use it for powder, it didn't really work well. I tried to use it for the cream blush that we have in here that I'm going to mention in a moment, but didn't work well for that either. And so I just don't know how to use this, I've tried it in a couple of different ways. So let me know what you guys have used this for, if you've, if, you, if you've used this brush before, because I just, I'm, I'm totally clueless. There might be some sort of golden way to use it, but I don't know. The next thing is this Dirty Little Secret Liquid Lipstick. Looks like this, so I'm wearing this today and I love it. You do need a lip liner with it because it does have very harsh lines if you don't. But I love this color. I actually got this in an Ipsy offer. 
so it came with a pack of three it came with this and two other shades but then I realized that I was going to get this in my beauty con box so I was a little bit disappointed so I do have an extra right here that I will be swapping or gifting or selling or something like that but this one is mine and I'm wearing this today so I love this and I hope that somebody else will love it too it might be in a giveaway the next thing is the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in the shade Rose Petal Pop. Alright, looks like this. It's just a really nice cream blush. Slash, it, ha it has like golden shimmer in it and I really like it. So when you rub it out, it does go into more of a powder like consistency, which I really like. So... You can use it on your on its own, and I'm wearing this today, and I love it. And I'm also wearing it with one other thing, and it is the Ibby Beauty, or IBY Beauty, Mineral Pl Pressed Blush and Peach Sheen. So, let's see, looks like this. Love it. It is one of the most beautiful blushes that I've worn, so I'm wearing that over the NYX um, Cream blush and it really brought out my blush. You can't really see it on camera very well but I, I'm i really loving the look of my cheeks today. So this is awesome. I'm probably actually going to repurchase this if I run out of it, if I do. But this is actually the second one that I received because the first one that I got in my box was broken. Customer service was great, sent me a new one. So no problem there. The next thing is this Nexi I, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this, but I'm saying Nuxie. Uh It is a multi-purpose dry oil for hair, face, and body. So it looks really shiny. It has lots of glitter in it. So how I use this, I put it on my cheeks and I put my foundation on over it. I have a very light coverage foundation, so you can see it on my cheeks in person. And then when I blended out my foundation, it did go over the rest of my face, but it is mostly concentrated on my cheeks still. So I do like the way that that worked out. If you have more of a high coverage foundation, then maybe put it on over it. I'm not sure if that would work well, but I really liked the look of this when I just put it on my face with no foundation, no makeup, and I think that it's a good kind of brightening pick-me-up if you're not going to wear foundation that day. So... I'm just going to save this around for those days. It makes me think of summer, maybe like the beach. So just just really brings life to the face. So I like that a lot. The last thing is something that I realize that I cannot live without anymore. And that is the Brow Gal little trio. So it looks like this has a mirror. Yeah. So at first I was like... I don't know which shade is going to be mine, but I ended up mixing them. So I like to mix this middle shade along with the darker shade, and then I use the lighter shade to kind of just like even it out. And yeah, I, I, I really like my brow look. I, my brows are pretty filled in already, so I've been using a cream before, but I feel like that's a bit too harsh for me, so this is just nice to fill in the um, extra areas where I need a little bit more coverage and it also came with this brush with an angle tip and a spoolie so this is really cool it retails for I think 35 and 14 dollars and I know that because we are getting it in this month's BoxyCharm as well and so a little bit disappointed about the BoxyCharm having a repeat item and they're both ending up in the box and they're counting as one item so I don't know. I, I really love the product, so I might just keep it on hand until I run out of this because I do see myself running out of this, even though it is a ton of product, gonna last me probably years. But yeah, I love Beauty Con. This is one of my fa favorite boxes. However, the price tag, it is a bit more expensive than the other beauty boxes. I got a sale, and even then, it's about $25 per box. Um, they do come seasonally, but yeah, I love them. So let me know what you guys think about uh, BeautyCon. Let me know if you get it, if you're thinking about getting it. I would recommend it. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.